Gordon, Director of Communications for the Pensacola School District. Today, I'm with Pam Rowland, our new Director of Transportation. Hi Pam, how are you today? I'm fantastic, Amy. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I'm so glad that we were able to come today and learn more about the Transportation Department. Yeah, so nice to have you. Let me congratulate you on your new position at the Peninsula School District. Thank you very much. I'm so excited to be here. Pam, tell us a little bit about your background and how you came to be at the Peninsula School District. I've been in this industry for 23 years. Puyallup School District, Auburn School District, South Kitsap School District, Central Kitsap School District. I've worn all the hats from bus driver to router dispatcher to assistant director and now I'm so proud to be at Peninsula as the director. So what can you tell us about the transportation department in Peninsula School District? What do people maybe not, not know about us? We have a tremendous staff here. The drivers are amazing. The staff is amazing. If you have the innate ability to build rapport with kids, it is a a happy making job. It is a terrific job. A lot of people will say, oh, I wouldn't drive a school bus, but if you speak to our drivers, you'll find out they love their work very much. So can you give us some statistics about the transportation department? Well, absolutely. Um, our, our school district is 120 square miles. We travel 1.9 million miles a year. Wow. Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, we have 103 school buses and 74 drivers, eight mechanics, eight staff. So Pam, can you tell us how you see transportation impacting student success? Every department connects in Peninsula School District to make the child's day successful. And every child has to be looked upon as an individual. They all have different needs and transportation has friendly, nurturing school bus drivers that greet those kids every morning and start their day. We get them to school safe and sound and hopefully ready to learn. Often students really learn to uh, appreciate their school bus drivers, they grow to love their school bus drivers. It really is a unique relationship, very often built with school bus drivers and students sometimes remember their drivers for years and years after they leave school much like they do their school teachers. So we are part of the village surrounding those children, nurturing them, taking care of them, being their champions, and being the adults that they can look up to. So Pam, COVID-19 has impacted every aspect of the Peninsula School District and transportation is no exception. Could you give us a tour of the school bus and demonstrate for us the safety protocols that are in place this year? Absolutely, I would love to. So this bus is a great example of the terrific job that our school bus drivers are doing to mitigate COVID and following the COVID protocol set forth by our department and the school district. I'll show you that each window is lowered to what we call the first rung, uh, just low enough to let in lots of ventilation, but not too much raindrops. The seats are labeled for every child. So, and it corresponds with the seating chart that the drivers have in their route books in case we have a substitute. Also, our hatches are open for a little more ventilation. Ventilation is really the key to keeping this bus safe. The students sit with their neighborhood friends or their families or siblings. Um, we load in such a way that the bus isn't too full until we have to double them up in seats. Um, and of course they know where their seats are so they get to them quickly. So this bus is, um, is, is very well marked. Kids know what to do, they're keeping them safe. Our drivers also do a fantastic job of cleaning up between each route. They have in their overhead on each bus a nice supply of cleaning supplies that are EPA approved and effective for the COVID virus. In addition, our buses are equipped with masks for the kids, kids size masks, in case a student forgets their mask and every bus has a small supply. Well, thank you, Pam. I appreciate the tour. Thank you, Amy. It was a lot of fun. And a special thanks to you and all of your transportation staff for everything you do for kids every day. Thank you. It's our pleasure.